It's often talked about and often misunderstood. It's the body's core. I caught up recently with Erwin Valencia, who was teaching some tricks to his fellow physical therapists at at and Park in San Francisco to get his expert advice on core strengthening. There, perfect. You got one thing here. <laughs> Erwin, ano ba talaga ang core? Because when we think of core, we think of abs, and a lot of people want strong abs. Core has become, you know, the, 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 the fashion word, a very fashionable word nowadays. The confusion with that is the fact that you, you, you think that core is just one area, but in fact, it's actually a system where it incorporates the upper part of the legs and then the lower part of the torso. That includes, um, you know, your oblique muscles, your, your yes, your rectus, uh, you know, your abs, rectus abdominis, but also includes your hip flexors, also includes your butt muscles. Erwin says a strong core means the rest of your body works more efficiently and you're less prone to injuries in the shoulders, neck, back and legs. Pay close attention to your posture. Erwin says being in a slouched position stretches and elongates your back muscles unnaturally. Anytime you place your body in a position where it's um, really not supposed to be in a long period of time uh, will always make it uh, predisposed to problems. For example, the couch. Oh, bad ne that's a big nemesis right there. We all like comfortable couches, but the problem with that is obviously you find yourself in a very badly slumped position, which what happens there, especially not only are you sitting bad when you decide to put your legs up, now not only is your muscles, all, all the muscles being placed in the lengthened position, there's also obviously the nerves that run through your legs that be, are placed in a, in a lengthy position for an extended period of time. If you're sleeping on your back and, and let's say you have had back pain in the past, you want to maybe put pillows underneath your legs. Um, sleeping on the side, if you have a good mattress, is actually one of the better ways to do it. Putting a pillow in your legs, lying down on your side, making sure that your head doesn't tilt down. So things have to be in a nice neutral position. So, you know, you'll see the, um, you know, there's, there's commercials on TV of good beds, and the, you'll see that the, the wave of the body is, it gets followed. And those, and those uh, you know, and if you look at that, they're always using the side lying position as the, as the position of choice, which when you're sleeping, that's the better position. Yeah. What about exercises you can recommend for strengthening our core? Because a lot of the things that were taught to us aren't necessarily the best for us. Crunches have a place in things, but um, uh, sit-up, uh, I mean, sit-ups or that direction, that, that forward direction of exercises in that plane of motion, there is a place for that. But a lot of studies have shown that the actual just crunch and bringing the two sides really closer together and just in that, that small motion actually activates more than a full sit-up does with regards to the, the abs, the rectus abdominis. But to get better abs and to have better core strength, that's only one side of the one side and one direction of that motion. You also have to you have to determine that the balancing force of that is the lumbar spine, you know, the spine, the spinal muscles, which keep you in the erect position. So the erector spinae, those muscles, you know, doing stuff um, on your stomach and then doing what you call like Supermans, doing uh, bird dogs, almost some of those yoga poses that you see people do where they're on their hands and knees and they're reaching up. Those are actually great core exercises and doing that in a number of repetitions. Also making sure, so you're going this way, you have to also make sure you're going this way, which is, which is sideways. So doing, you know, doing maybe side crunches, side crunches both directions. Um, and with rotation, you have to involve the obliques which are in charge of doing rotation. So you're doing rotational stuff, which you know may be the heavy medicine ball, where you're throwing things on the side, or even being in a crunch position and then doing rotations on it. That will definitely be beneficial. Once again, using the physio ball, a perfect tool, perfect tool for making sure your back, your front, your sides work all together to get great stability for you is, is a, one of the great, simple, cheap tools that you can use. Erwin advises that you don't go at this alone. Do some online research, Talk to a physical therapist, a doctor, or a personal trainer at the gym. And the simplest but most effective way to really work your core is to take a Pilates class.